Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Linda. If you visit in for the first time, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Vietnam is a Southeast Asian country on the South China Sea. It is known for its Buddhist pagodas and many more. It is the 15th most populous country in the world and is a wonderful country to visit. In part one, we explored Ho Chi Minh. In today's video, we will be exploring Hanoi and Ha Long Bay. When you visit to Hanoi, you witness many tall, five or six storied buildings where families live together under one roof. To avoid steep taxes or steep tax implications, inhabitants of Hanoi build up instead of out. This country, which has been through hell in a handbasket, has experienced a rapid construction boom in recent years. This can be witnessed in many skyscrapers such as Hanoi Landmark 72 Tower Building, the tallest in Vietnam, and Hanoi Lutz Center, the second tallest in the country. Welcome to Hanoi. Hanoi is a thriving, bustling and monumental city. It has been the capital of Vietnam for almost a thousand years. It is also the second largest city in Vietnam with a population of 7.7 .7 million people. Hanoi is the main cultural center of Vietnam and is famous for its centuries-old architecture which features many influences such as the Chinese, Southeast Asia and the French. One of its many temples named Bac Ma honors a legendary horse. Hanoi is also known for housing the mausoleum or burial site of Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam's former dictator. Last but certainly not least, this awesome inspiring city holds the Guinness Book of World Record for the largest ceramic mosaic mural ever seen. This mosaic mural was created to mark the nation's victory in the Vietnam War and is 2.48 miles or 4 kilometers long. At its heart is the chaotic old quarter, arranged by trade, and many more monumental highlights. This isn't all that makes Hanoi special. Five million people have motorcycles in Hanoi, and somehow it still manages to be less noisy. This Paris of the Orient, and Paris of the East, as it is called, was occupied by the Imperial Japanese in 1940, and then liberated in 1945. To get around, use a motorcycle, use a tour guide, or take a taxi. For my stay, I chose Sheraton Hanoi, located in Taeho District. This isn't an easy hotel to get to, so I would not be recommending this hotel. 
A couple of positives about this hotel is that it is located near the airport and is also located near the famous Tran Quoc Pagoda. The hotel is 10 minutes from the heart of Vietnam's timeless capital and also next to West Lake. It is the perfect jump off pad for exploring Ha Long Bay. On day one, visit Vietnam Museum of Ethnology. This museum focuses on 54 officially recognized ethnic groups in Vietnam, such as the Viets, the Rag Lais, and more. These ancient form of political organizations dates back to the beginning of the first millennium BC. Organization occurred early and developed over time. These ethnic groups lived in stilt houses with entrances on the side or at the gable. Some of the stilt houses had rounded or four-sided roofs and were made of bark or wooden bamboo panels. Each village had its own communal housing structure that honored the village and its guardian spirit. Replicas of the previous habitats can be explored in this indoor-outdoor open-air museum which features many interesting buildings, statues, and cheeky sculptures. Hanoi's old quarter is jam-packed. This chaotic street or neighborhood that comprises of shops, art galleries, souvenirs, stores providing goods and many services is so fun to explore. The area is full of a healthy mix of Vietnamese architecture, lots of greenery, live music, restaurants, bars, and many more. There are approximately 40 streets that make up this very intriguing neighborhood, which must be explored on foot. If time allows, grab a bite. <laughs> We finally made it out of Pan's way and we're at the square. On day two, visit Tran Quoc Pagoda. Tran Quoc Pagoda is the oldest Buddhist temple in Hanoi, and it is located on a small island near Hanoi's West Lake. It was constructed in the 6th century during the reign of Emperor El Nan, giving this pagoda an age of over 1,450 years. A small causeway links this pagoda and this temple to the mainland. Monks have lived in this pagoda for many centuries, teaching the ways of Buddhism to the public. Among the historic relics are statutory pieces dating back to 1639. Up next, Bạc Ma Temple. Bạc Ma means white horse. This is the oldest temple in the heart of the Old Quarter, built in the 9th century. It is a place of worship for Long Du, an ancient god of Hanoi, 
from a legendary tale. Up next, Ochimi Mausoleum. Ochimi Mausoleum is the burial site of Ochimi, Vietnam's former dictator. Photographs are strictly prohibited. From there, visit Hanoi's Opera House. End your day at Hanoi's Night Market. Grab dinner here. On day three, visit Temple of Literature. Temple of Literature, also known as Temple of Confucius, was built in 1070 and hosts the Imperial Academy, which is Vietnam's first national university. It is one of the several temples dedicated to Confucius, sages, and scholars. This temple is featured on the 100,000 Vietnamese Dong Bank note and has also preserved ancient architectural styles of many dynasties alongside many precious relics. In it, you find an altar to Ju Vung An, rector of the Imprecise Academy. This temple is also dedicated to Confucius, one of the most admired scholars of our time. This historical monument stands amongst the four guardian temples of Gang, along the citadel, established to create enclosing boundaries around the city. They serve as a protective fortress or stronghold against potential threats. From there, visit Temple of the Jade Mountain, also known as Ngok Soren Temple. This temple, built on the Jade Outlet, is dedicated to Confucius and Taoist philosophers. <laughs> On day four, visit Thu Huang Hanoi Lacquer Arts. For those interested in seeing how lacquer art is made, the story's trap is a must-see, but also a very lovely experience. Learn about the dangers of nail lacquer and polish and its direct correlation to a very well-known disease or illness. Watch live as these dynamic, stunning, and unique art is made by hand. <laughs> In this lacquer arts gallery, you would also find paintings, arts, products made from three different kinds of lacquerware from eggshells, painting, and mother of pearl. On day 5, visit Halong Bay. On an overnight junket boat or on a day trip, head to Halong Bay, one of the new seven wonders of nature and a World Heritage UNESCO site. The bay belongs to Halong City and is part of Van Dan District. It features thousands of limestone casks and isles in various forms, shapes and sizes. Halong Bay serves as the center of a much larger geological zone. Be on the lookout for the Kissing Rocks. The Kissing Rocks, also known as Kissing Cocks, is a major tourist site on Halong Bay. Every turn is absolutely fascinating and captivating. This bay is also home to 14 endemic floral species. Halong Bay's limestone has survived 500 million years of formation in all kinds of weather conditions and environment. This is truly mind-boggling. It features 1.9 million islets and the area has a tropical oceanic seashore and evergreen biosystem. This place will leave you breathless. I mean, absolutely speechless. It was one of the most beautiful sights I had seen next to Oslo, Norway's The Fjords. One is not only treated to an indescribable natural wonder and beauty, you are witness to a naturally preserved open-air geological museum of some 300 million years. The process of erosion has contributed to its fantastic beauty and impressive wow factor.
anh hay nặng lời nói với em những câu chuyện không vui thật tâm anh cũng chẳng muốn đau người ơi vì yêu em quá nên anh sợ cô đơn chơi vơi anh biết rằng ngoài kia có bao người yêu em nên anh sợ một ngày anh chẳng thể níu lấy đôi tay này và tình yêu này sợ đến một ngày em vội vàng lìa xa anh anh sợ lắm em ơi sợ mỗi khi đêm về khi chẳng còn em chẳng có tay ai vỗ về anh sợ khi em nói câu chia tay vô vàng up next the floating and fishing villages on Halong Bay The floating villages have a whole lot of heart, punch and soul. I met some of the nicest boat captains and the residents and heard so many wonderful stories. The kids go to school on the mainland and have to be ferried over each and every single day. They also have to purchase clean or drinking water, leaving quite a burden on their livelihoods. Their main sources of income are tourism and fishing. In Halong Bay, There are floating villages with hundreds upon hundreds of boats, one of which is Kunkut Island. Kunkut is a frog-like islet. So guys, this is the floating village in Howland Bay. And people actually live on this boat. They have their kitchen right in front. Their whole lives are in here. It's quite fascinating to see and how these guys live. And then the kids have to get on a boat to get to the marina to get to school each morning. So I can't even imagine that, but it's kind of neat to kind of see. It just makes you so grateful for life and for all we have out there. But I bet you these guys are so happy. Now for water, they have to buy water every day, every morning. They have to get fresh water which gets quite expensive. So this is Halong Bay in Vietnam. So that's my tour guide's house, this one here, or I should say our boat captain. Hello. Hi. She just showed us her home, which is that one right there, smack in the middle. It's really cool. Vietnamese legend has it that in a year of severe drought, a frog directed all animals to heaven to protest against God. It demonstrated in favor of wanting and making rain. As a result of this protest, God answered and accepted the frog as his uncle. Since then, whenever frogs grind your teeth, God has to pour water from heaven, which brings forth rain. This protest ultimately ended the drought in Vietnam War. And please pardon my giggle, <laughs> one was bought one was bought a canoe <laughs> to go explore the fishing villages. Most, if not all, canoe operators live on the floating villages. The bay is also a member of the club of the most beautiful bays in the world. Take your time and take it all in. It is indeed one of the most beautiful places I'd ever seen. Next to Oslo Norway, the fjords. Bên nhau em nói anh là người cuối cùng. Cớ sao hôm nay thành hai chữ đã từng. Ngày bên nhau em nói anh là người cuối cùng. Perfect weather, they say. So it looks like I brought the sun from sunny California. Đã chấp phá quá nhiều lần Không thể lành lại được nữa rồi Bao năm chỉ yêu một người Hôm nay trái tim đã mệt rồi 
đành buông lời cho em theo người mới anh đem lòng đơn phương người anh đã từng sát thương hôm qua chung lối hôm nay khá thường ta không còn bên nhau vậy xin đừng làm khó nhau người không nên nhớ sẽ là tim đau khi yêu anh cứ nghĩ là anh chỉ cần cho hết đi tình cảm bao lâu em nỡ vứt đi buông tay rời xa thôi từ nay đường tình ta sẽ đôi xa như chúng mình chưa từng Em chỉ coi tình yêu này như là một mảnh giấy thôi Đã chấp phá quá nhiều lần Không thể lành lại được nữa rồi Bao năm chỉ yêu một người Hôm nay trái tim đã mệt rồi Đành buông lời cho em theo người mới Anh đem lòng đơn phương Người anh đã từng sát thương Hôm qua chung lối xin đừng làm khó nhau người không nên nhớ sẽ là tim đau khi yêu anh cứ nghĩ là anh đem lòng đơn phương người anh đã từng sát thương hôm qua chung lô from there visit how dalgo cave how dalgo cave is a single large tunnel descending along a major set of fractures to a massive choke Its passages extend over 300 meters, opening on the south side of Con Angus Island. Like many limestone caves in Howlong Bay, the Dalgo Cave is a result of complex geological processes. Each of its chambers a wonderful sculptural work of nature to behold. The beauty of this cave has been praised as a grotto of wonders by visitors. You see? Yeah. She's looking back like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can be. <laughs> and there's a beautiful couple up there. You guys see two people hugging each other. Oh yeah. Two people is getting married, Juliet. Right? Another couple, they're dancing. Yeah. And there's so many beautiful jellyfish. The crocodile. Dinosaur, snake or something like that. Wow. Yeah. No? The monkey that found it, is it still yeah. alive? The monkey. Ah, uh, it's, it's still alive. The monkey's still alive? Yeah, we still preserve it as in Kata Island. Wow. Yeah, not in here. So there's no monkey on this island anymore. Chẳng thể bỏ đi một mối tình. Ngày em nói ở bên cạnh nhau qua nhiều mệt mỏi, anh đã cố gắng níu cao nhưng lại thôi. Ngày em nói giữa chúng ta có khác biệt quá lớn, là do em cần ai đó hơn.
thì môi nhớt sẽ thêm mặn thêm niềm tin thì tình sẽ thêm sao nặng những người không muốn cùng tôi ô ô người say nốt nô nhưng thực ra biến vẫn sẽ mặn chút sâu lắng cho tình tôi lên ngôi kết thúc khác nhau vì câu nói ngày em nói ở bên cạnh nhau qua nhiều mệt mỏi anh đã cố gắng níu kéo nhưng lại thôi giữa chúng ta có cả tiền biệt quá lớn là gió em cần ai đó Next, best restaurants in Hanoi. When in Hanoi, forget fancy restaurants, and I mean forget it completely. Some of the best and most spectacular meals you'll ever have will be discovered in Hole in the Walls. As an avid fan of late Anthony Bourdain, I thought it would be befitting to visit the restaurant he visited with former President Barack Obama. This restaurant has been lauded as the best in Hanoi, but truth be told, it isn't. I discovered one better. But nonetheless, I had to pay Bun Cha Hoang Glen a well-deserved visit. Bun Cha Hoang Glen restaurant was made famous by Anthony Bourdain and this restaurant owners have milked it for every cent it's worth and they're famous for it today. You find pictures of President and Anthony Bourdain everywhere and I mean everywhere. I chose to sit at the exact spot they sat and all of the exact same items they had on the menu. <laughs> Truth be told, Huang Glen's Bun Cha dish did not hold a candle to my personal discovery, a restaurant appropriately named Bun Cha Dak Kim. However, Bun Cha is Hanoi's local and native dish. This dish is made from vermicelli rice noodles in an indescribable breath looking kind of sauce made with herbs, sugar, vinegar, fish sauce, and grilled pork. It is so good, so delicious, you want to bite your fingers and lick your plate. I'm not even kidding. You must also try egg coffee. Egg coffee is a staple found only in Hanoi region. This is a delicious dessert slash coffee and I encourage you try it alongside Hanoi's street food. Là vì em người cho anh suy nghĩ phải sống tốt. Là vì em tình yêu của em đang được trân trọng. Thay vì phải xin lỗi, anh muốn tự Here are some helpful tips. Tip number 1. When shopping, beware. Make sure you absolutely love your items purchased in Vietnam because there are absolutely no returns. Once you've paid for them, even if you're still in the store, you cannot return the item. It's their law. Tip number two, crossing the streets in Ho Chi Minh, be very careful. However, to cross, one must raise their hands up above their heads, then ball their feast, which indicates that you want to cross. Tip number three, for those who steal people's luggage at airports, beware. At Saigon Airport, each and every luggage tag is checked and verified against your boarding pass before you exit the baggage claim. Lines are long, but it's absolutely worth it. I think it's pure genius. I loved it so much and didn't mind the inconvenience. Just make sure that you have your right luggage and not anybody else's. Thanks for watching Bloody Citizen. I hope you enjoy this series on Vietnam. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, comment and subscribe. For a full list of my itinerary on Vietnam and other destinations, please follow the links below. See you next week!